thank you, Father, for this day. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, ancient of days. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Thank you, Abba, Father, for being God Almighty. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's word. I ask, oh God, for the grace to understand the scriptures. Use me to teach your word, Lord. And I ask, oh God, the grace to hear, to understand, and to do what the word says. Be upon the viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I take authority over the word by the power and the blood of Jesus. Let your name be exalted. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Welcome to today's uh, episode of the teaching. Welcome to the month of August. One more time. The month of August, which we themed the month of wait upon the Lord. Or wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you have been blessed by our teachings. Hope you have been blessed by the teachings you've been receiving from us. May, the God, may God give you more grace to understand and to walk with Him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please get back to us in case you have comments or in case you have testimonies. I beg your pardon. Get back to us for your testimonies so we can share them for people to know that Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. I ask for the grace to know him more. Be upon your life. Please keep watching our videos. I do ask that please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Glory be to God. Go to Mount Zion Fresh Fire Ministry International. Please go there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that in subsequent videos, you'll be alert you get alert and you can follow what we are doing for the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Stay blessed and I'm sure this teaches today you will be highly blessed. Thank you. Let's quickly open to the book of Genesis chapter number 42. Sorry, Genesis chapter 45, I beg your pardon. Genesis chapter number 45, verse number 16 to 18. Genesis chapter 45, verse number 16 to to number 18. I read from the NIV version. When the news reached Pharaoh's palace that Joseph's brother had come, Pharaoh and all his officials were pleased. Verse 17. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Tell your brothers, do this, load your animals and return to the land of Canaan. Verse 18. And bring your father and your family back to me. I will give you the best of the land of Egypt. And you can enjoy the fat of the land. This is the word of Jehovah. Child of God, I want to lay an emphasis on a point which I just, from the scripture which we read, I'm teaching this day on divine position divine position because this month of august god has to position us may you be the one to be positioned this month of august in the name of jesus may you be the one to be positioned for favor position for breakthroughs this month in the name of jesus christ the month of new beginning may you be repositioned by god may you be repositioned by god in jesus name i pray amen so we just read from the place we just read we see uh, from the background story a man called joseph we all know the story of joseph and i'd like you to remember that this month is our month of wait upon the lord our anchor scripture is isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. now before i continue let me lay, let me lay a background story now in isaiah 40 verse 31 which says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. Hallelujah. So you discover that the best way 
to be positioned is to wait upon the Lord, especially in a place called the sacred place, which is the place of prayers. Now, before I continue, you may to understand that Joseph was a man who was hated by his brothers. We know the story of Jacob, who is one of the sons of uh, Joseph, who is one of the sons of Jacob, or one of the sons of Israel, if I may put it this way. I'm teaching on divine position. So Joseph, we saw, we all know the story of Joseph, where he was hated by his brothers. And from the story, they went to the farm or to the field where they were grazing their sheep. And the father sent him to go and check on his brothers to see if they are doing well. Scripture says Joseph got there, but the brothers hated him. Not that day, they had already hated him because he used to share his dreams with them. And his father was favoring Joseph or his father favored him. Why? Because the father loved the mother so much. And the Bible says that Joseph's mother died when she was putting birth to the second child, who is called Benjamin. The mother died. So the father loved her so much. So the love was transferred to Joseph. Hallelujah. So we see that when he got to the field, the brothers took him and removed his coat of many colors, which the father has sewn for him. And the Bible says, they say, let's, let's, some say, let's kill him. And some said, don't kill him. Simeon said, don't kill him. Let's throw him into the dungeon. And the Bible says he was thrown into the dungeon. Thank God there was no water. He could have died there. And scripture says, at midday, while they were resting, they saw the Amalekites, uh, they were moving, traders, they were moving to Egypt. And they saw Joseph. And Joseph went into Egypt or entered Egypt as a slave. I'm teaching on divine position. Now, when he got to Egypt, we understand the story of all what happened in Egypt. This is my point, divine position. Now, Joseph, even though he entered Egypt as a slave, God positioned him. Why? Because God foresaw farming that is to come in the land of Canaan. Now, what am I teaching about divine position? I want to draw from that scripture or from that portion of the scripture. You understand that the best way, like I said, the best way to be positioned is when you wait upon the Lord in prayers. Divine position means divine location. Divine position means divine location. When you are well located or well positioned, you'll be fulfilled, which means you fulfill the mandate of God upon your life. So when you wait upon the Lord or when you're positioned, especially in prayers, you regain strength. Divine position begins with a shift. A shift which is supernatural shift, a supernatural move. In the name of Jesus, may you receive a shift this month. May you be pushed by the shift of Jehovah into the place of your assignment, into the place of your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the shift, that supernatural shift, uh, come upon you, take you from where you are to the place you're supposed to be, spiritually, physically, financially. In Jesus' name I pray. May you experience a shift that will bring a breakthrough in your life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. So divine positioning comes with divine shift or come with a supernatural move, which is a shift. When the shift comes upon your life, it moves you into a direction. And we all are urging for direction from God. It brings direction, it brings repositioning, and it brings protection. When there is a shift of God, when there is divine shift upon your life, God directs you. He directs you to the place of abundance. Now, if you look at the story of Joseph, Joseph was just going to Egypt as a slave. Now, when there's a shift upon your life, it might not be comfortable. Because oftentimes, we want to be comfortable to have a breakthrough. When if Moses was comfortable in the house of uh, his in-law, Moses couldn't have had the encounter in Midian. If he was, if he was comfortable in the house of his uh, in-law, he, could he, he couldn't have had the encounter he had in the burning bush in Exodus chapter 3. 
If Joseph was comfortable in their house, he couldn't have even gone to the field to see how, the, how far the brothers were doing. Because divine shift comes with uncomfort. It means you must be uncomfortable. He would take you through some things. They might be painful. When Joseph was thrown in the dungeon by his brothers, it was painful. He was crying. He was weeping. Never did he know that uh, God was taking him to his place of assignment. God, Joseph had to pass through pain. Rejected by his brothers. Hated by his brothers. Was thrown in the dungeon. And sold by his brothers. And he was taken to Egypt as a slave. And in Egypt he was lied against by, the pot, by Potiphar's wife. And he, and, he was, and he went to jail. He was in prison. So all of these things somebody may ask. But why did God allow him? Because when there's about to be a shift in your life, it will not be comfortable for the human. But if a spiritual person will understand that divine shift comes with pain. Uh, may, may I tell you this? You, uh, you, you might not understand, you might not believe it. When Joseph was going through what, what he was going through, it was for the good of the people of Canaan. It was for the good of his brothers, of his brother, of his father, because the mother had passed away. Nobody could believe. Child of God, I want to submit to you. Whatever you are going through today is a school. Whatever you are going through today, the challenges, the pains you are facing, the insult, rejection, Look at the life of Joseph. Nobody understood and nobody believed what Joseph was going to. And in the end, Joseph became the prime minister of Egypt. Look at what he went through. You are going through some challenges. I want to encourage you. Don't give up. God is here on the throne. Don't give up. God is here on the throne. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if you look at the story of Joseph, some of us are not different from Joseph. Some of us are not different from Joseph. Rejected by our friends, by families. Laughed at by friends. Sold by. We have been sold by some of our friends. Ignored by our friends. Why? Because maybe we don't have today. Joseph went through all of those things. I came to encourage you that there is what we call divine position. Divine position. God will position you. This month of August, God will position you. God will position you in the mighty name of Jesus. So you must be in the right position to achieve the right things in life. You must be in the right position to achieve the right things in life. Divine position may not be pleasurable, like I said before. Initially, it might not be, like we saw in the like we see in the life of Joseph. Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse nine says, "In their hearts, human plans their course, but the Lord establishes or the Lord directs our steps or their steps." What do we know about Joseph? Few points to note: divine position. Number one, like I said, he was hated by his brothers. Thrown into the pit. Sold into slavery. Was imprisoned. What are the advantages of a shift or divine positioning? I beg your pardon. The advantages of divine positioning. Number one, there is divine speed. When God positions you, there is speed. When God positions you, there is speed. You recover. In the name of Jesus, may you receive that divine speed to catch up. Divine speed to catch up. Divine speed to meet up, to catch up. In Jesus' name I pray. Speed on every side. When there's divine positioning, it comes with speed. Divine shift, the supernatural shift comes with speed. In the mighty name of Jesus. May there be speed in your finances to recover. May you recover your business speedily. May you recover your career speedily. May you recover your health speedily. In Jesus' name I pray. So supernatural shift comes with what? It brings speed. And most of us, we want speed. We need speed in our lives. Speed to recover. Speed to catch up. Hallelujah. Divine position. It brings what? Help. When we all need help, when you are well positioned, you are positioned for help. That help us miss you because, in fact, indeed, and in fact, this month your helpers will locate you. This month of new beginnings, 
Your helpers will locate you to sing a new song. In the name of Jesus. This month of August, your helpers will locate you. Why? Because God will position you for your helpers to locate you and for your helpers to favor you. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. This month of August, supernatural helpers, your divine helpers will locate you. Wherever you are, they will locate you for you to sing a new song. In the name of Jesus Christ, when God positions you, there is help. Not just help for men, but there's also help from above. For with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. God will help you. God will help you. I say God will help you. It might seem as if things are not working out. But my Father will help you. Jesus will help you. God will help you. Hold on to him. Don't lose your faith. Don't throw the towel. It is too late for God to bless you. Which means that your blessing, your breakthrough is at hand. Don't give up. Hold on. God is about to position you for that breakthrough, for that miracle. If you are the one, shout, I receive it. Jesus' name, receive it. So it comes with, divine position comes with speed. It comes with help, help, favor with God, favor with man. And it comes with fulfillment of purpose. When you are well positioned, when you are divinely positioned, you fulfill purpose. The mandate and the calling of God is being fulfilled in your life. Hallelujah. 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 So from where we saw in the, the story of Joseph, you see, God foresaw a starvation plan in the land of Canaan to come. So he sent Joseph ahead to prepare the way for his brethren, for his parents, for the nation of Canaan entirely, if I may say. God foresaw famine. You might be surprised why you're going through some things. Because there's something you're about to do which nobody in your family has done. There's a record you're about to break. But the record cannot be broken only when you experience some things because you're going to a school. That's why I say, hold on. I want to encourage you, hold on. Hold on. You are not a failure. You are not a failure. You are not a failure. You, you, you might have experienced failures in the past, but it doesn't make you a failure. It was just an experience you had. But in the name of Jesus, your experiences of failure shall become a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. This month of August, the month of new beginning, those failures shall turn to a stepping stone for testimonies, for breakthroughs. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We saw the life of Joseph, where Joseph, God foresaw farming in the land of Canaan. And he sent Joseph ahead of time to prepare the way. A good number of you watching, you have been sent to prepare the way for other people. You are like a bridge for other people. You are a bridge for other people to go to school. You are a bridge for other people to see light. You are a bridge for other people to get into business. God sent you ahead like he sent Joseph. Joseph was sent, but the way he was sent was not pleasurable. He was sent, he entered Egypt as a slave, imprisoned. It was not pleasurable. It was not pleasurable, not at all. A good number of us are experiencing the Joseph experience. A good number of you watching, you are experiencing the Joseph experience. But in the end, Joseph came out, not just a conqueror, but he came out as a prime minister. May you come out of that challenge by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever challenges you are facing, you have been facing this month of August, which is a month of new beginning, by the power of the Holy Ghost. That force that lifts up people, the force that lifts up an eagle, may it locate you, may it lift you up from challenges into your testimony. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. So Joseph was sent ahead by God. But the way he entered Egypt, if we can sit and study the scripture, we will say, no, this is man, the plan of man. Scripture says, many are the plan of men, but the purpose of God, the counsel of God prevails. You have been planning a lot, but I want to tell you, in the name of Jesus, God's purpose in your life, from this month of August, it shall prevail. It shall prevail. It shall be established on every side. In Jesus' name we pray. God shall reposition you to establish you in this nation. 
In Jesus, name I pray. Makapola ba. God shall establish you spiritually, spiritual positioning, and physical positioning in your finances, in your job. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Divine position. If you are not positioned, you cannot have the right things. Hallelujah. What do we do, Pastor? We have some few prayers to pray. Divine position. Hallelujah. Divine position. You see, a good number of us are in the wrong position. The wrong places, wrong jobs, wrong career, wrong relationship. But God is about to reposition you. If you are the one, shout a believing amen. If you are the one who is expecting divine supernatural repositioning, shout a believing amen. Shout a believing amen. If you are expecting supernatural breakthrough, a reposition in your finances, a shift in your finances, a shift in your health, a shift in your career, may you receive that shift. In Jesus' name I pray. Be positioned for that shift. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, a lot of us, a good number of us, are not in the right place. Today we have to pray for God to position me. God to position you. Say, Lord, today is my day to be positioned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do we do? We have to pray. We have to pray. Because we have to wait on God Divine position is in the place of prayers. There is nothing wrong to pray more. It's better to pray. The more you pray, the better. The more secure you are. Sometimes you have to pray. Sometimes you have to pray to secure your year, ten years ahead of you. Sometimes you have to pray to secure your next generation. Sometimes you have to pray to secure your fourth generation. Don't just pray for yourself. Pray transgenerational prayers. And these are some of them we are going to pray today. For God to position me. God to position me. Your prayer today should be God position me. God position me. God position me. When God positions you, you laugh better. When God positions you, you smile better. When God positions you, your head is lifted up with ease. When God positions you, there is celebration on every side. In the name of Jesus, some of you have never had celebration for the past one, two, three, four years. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in this month of August, you shall be celebrated. You shall be celebrated because God will position you for that celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus, it has been delayed. But today, in the name of Jesus, I break the yoke of delay over your life. Today, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be celebrated. You shall celebrate. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. What do we do, Pastor? We have to pray. We have to pray. The first prayer I want us to pray is, Lord, take me away from destruction. Take me away from destruction. Divine position does not go with destruction. Divine position goes with focus. An eagle, for an eagle to leave the tree to pick up a fish from the sea, it focuses its vision. Focus vision. So you must be focused spiritually, focused physically, in order for you to be positioned and to receive the blessing. Because you should be positioned spiritually and you position physically and your eyes are open to see even your helper because you must be positioned for your helper to locate you. When your helper locates you, things become easy for you because God has sent you a helper, a destiny helper. I pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says when Joseph, Kabale Sabo Hodoba, when Joseph, when Joseph left the house, he knew where the brothers were grazing. Scripture said when he got there, he didn't see them. They left to another place. The Bible said he met a man, a certain man met him in a place called Dotham. A certain man met him in a place called Dotham. And that was a man, he saw Joseph. Joseph was roaming around the farm, the field. Which means that he was wasting time. Which means that he didn't know the direction. Which, not, which means that he, he was not fulfilled. 
So it was a certain man who directed Joseph where his brothers were. I pray in the name of Jesus, this month of August, the month of new beginning, that certain man who is your divine helper, he will locate you and he will show you the direction in the mighty name of Jesus. That certain man that located Joseph and showed him where his brothers were in the name of Jesus. May that certain man, your divine helper, this month of August, may he locate you and show you direction. May he locate you and show you direction. Direction for your breakthrough. Direction to your breakthrough. Direction to your open doors. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We were, we were about to pray. Child of God, before we pray, look into your life. You have to confess your sins. Confess your sins to Jesus Christ. Ask him for mercy. Ask him for forgiveness. When they sin, God is absent. Holiness is what attracts God. Before we pray, please, we use a few minutes. Look into your life. Begin to confess your sins. We have, we have some four prayer points to pray. Begin to confess your sins. Ask him for mercy. Lord, I have my kapusa, but Lord, have mercy on me. Begin to ask him for mercy. Open your mouth. I'm going to pray. Masika, for God to reposition you. For God, we, we need divine position. So begin to open your mouth and ask God for mercy. Father, your mercy. Father, your mercy. Father, your mercy. Forgive us, Lord. Wash us from iniquity. Begin to open your mouth and ask him for mercy. Thank you, Lord. Wash us with the blood of Jesus. Push us with the blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First prayer. Lord, take me away from destruction. Say in the name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me away from destruction. Spiritually, physically, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray this prayer. Masaka pala seka broda. Mapili sakatala bahanda bosia. Kakunda le kabratale. Brekala 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 brekala. Kakunda le madan. Lord, take me away from destruction. Zipa kalaba katobra. Spiritual destruction. Physical destruction. Lord, take me away from destruction. Matobra. That I may be repositioned in the spiritual. That I may be repositioned in the physical. Lord Jesus, take me away from destruction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number two. Lord Jesus, please repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, open my eyes spiritually and physically to see my helpers and to experience the shift into my breakthrough. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, open my spiritual eyes, open my physical eyes to see at the shift and to experience the shift to see my supernatural divine helpers and to experience divine shift in the name of Jesus kapala se kabrusa meto kapala handa mekatula keseda le kasakalima kutuba kaleba brakate le katula brakate kaluta mekatula bege kado samba le kapra le kato brakato in Jesus name we pray amen Prayer number three, child of God. Prayer number three. We're going to ask the angels of the living God. Angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord is God himself. Study the Old Testament. Angel of the Lord position me for a breakthrough this month of August. Position me for a 24-hour breakthrough this month of August, from this very hour. Position me for a 24-hour miracle. 24 hour turnaround. Angel of the living God. Open your mouth and pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Angel of the Lord. Position me for a supernatural open door. A supernatural breakthrough. Position me for a 24 hour miracle. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Kafa se kafa in the makoto. Brita la katele me kasuda leba. Makopa si katele me hinda bada. Brikatuda. Angel of the Lord. Makopata la brakata. Position me for a 24 hour miracle. Angel of the Lord. Position me for a breakthrough this month of August. Angel of the Lord. Position me for an open door. Nisa palasata. Iyakata. Financially. Maritally. Business wise. Position me for a better job. Make a post. Sakalema kadabo. Prehandabo hodaba. Shakama hendama hodobo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Lastly, let's ask the angel of the living God to position you for an encounter. Divine encounter announces you for celebration. You shall be celebrated this month of August in the name of Jesus. This month of August shall not end. You shall be celebrated. There shall be celebration in your home because of you and for you. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, position me for an encounter with you. That encounter to elevate me. That encounter to announce me. This month of August, open your mouth and fire prayer. In the name of Jesus. Kapala seka polosa. Mekupa de indaba seka palusa kabre. Brikanda la katuba. Ikwala kwala kade. Impalosa kale mama. Makota brihinda ma. Kozaka kozaka lida. Somika le bakalebra. Frakusa kapaleka. Kodo leka kodo leka kodo leka. Zabakata makata. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Child of God. Continue praying these prayers. We have testimonies from our previous videos or messages. The, prayer, the prayers we used to pray, the prayer we prayed about a second time, there were many testimonies coming in. I will look for time to share with us the testimonies. And other prayer sessions we'll be having, we'll be having testimonies from brethren around the world. So keep praying the prayers. Don't lose hope. Take courage. Be courageous. God has not forgotten you. This month of August, which is a month of new beginning. New things. I see new things already happening in your life. I see new things in the spiritual already happening in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you. May God, the God I serve, his name is Jesus. May Jesus position you for those good things. For good songs. For breakthroughs. For miracles. For testimony, for that new song, may Jesus position you this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray.